Okay, hello everyone. So today we'll be talking about a very important topic called as tempo setup in Grafana. Whatever we've done earlier, let's it's a quick recap. Uh, in the same playlist, we did a Grafana setup, Grafana installation onto this small mini cube cluster, and then we integrated uh, Jira with this so that we can get tickets directly created in Jira from Alert. And then we had an understanding of prompt queue queries to understand time series data. Further, we understood how we can create dashboards and what are the different methods of creating dashboards on Grafana. And then we did a small understanding on how we can do a log aggregation using lock in prompt till in Grafana. And finally, we did a Grafana alert, uh, quick understanding. Now, today we'll be talking about tempo setup. And you can see in the right hand side, the center part is the tempo, where it is taking all the data from either from open telemetry, Zipkin, Jaeger, or any other uh, you know, tool. And for a production based application, we can store the data into a GCS S3 bucket, S3 bucket, or maybe as your blob storage. Ultimately, the Grafana is adding this tempo as a data source so that we can see uh, visualize all the traces. So this is all about the theoretical aspects of it. So let's do a uh, quick understanding from practical aspect. So uh, I've created a small GitHub page for this. You can simply come here and then go to this GitHub page. Simply, I will be publishing in the uh, description of this session. So yeah, let's get started. I'll just come here, and I want to do it. Uh, the same repository for uh, to a clear screen, and I want to this observability namespace fine. So let me see. We have Locky and Tempo. Let me uninstall so that we are doing it from fresh. I will install Locky. I will install Tempo for that matter. Fine. So we'll be going to the uh, Grafana and then we'll be installing Locky stack. Now, what this Locky stack is doing, it is simply pulling all the logs from all the nodes for all applications and then uh, creating it to a, uh, turning it to a data source. So ultimately, we'll be tagging that data source to the Grafana. So yeah. We'll go to the Locky stack folder and then we'll run this Helm chart, which is a combination of both your Locky and prompt tail. This is the checking tab for us. So I'll just do a clear HL. HL. Okay. Yeah, it's taking some time to come up. Yeah. Okay, so container is getting created. Fine. So we'll uh, Locky stack is done. Now we need to install Tempo. Tempo is nothing but Tempo Helm chart, which is being provided by uh, the Fana GitHub page. Fine, Tempo has been installed. We'll see. Tempo pod is running. Okay, fine. Pod is also running. So independently, we have installed Tempo. We have independently installed uh, Locky. Now we'll install the Cube Prometheus stack, which we'll install and configure your Grafana. Now, uh, this is a simple command help install from this stack, naming the release name as, as prod into this namespace. Now th we are passing one value tempo config.yaml. What is this? So we are saying just when we are, whenever you're creating a Grafana, just make sure that you're adding these additional data sources the Locky one and the tempo one. And the Locky contains another. Uh, derived column called as trace ID so that we can do a marriage between Locky and Tempo, right? So yeah, let's get uh, run this piece also. Uh, copy. We'll just run this. Okay, I am into Grafana Tempo. I need to cancel this. Sorry, there's no file. I was. Sometimes this issue generally comes. Okay, I'll just take a new tab altogether. PD Kipana. Okay. And then I'll just run this Helm chart again. Sorry for the inconvenience talk. So now here we have this tempo.config. Fine. So now this is installing. I uh, will see it will take, I think, 30 seconds or so. HL. I'll just so kgp minus o white will keep on checking the pods so we are able to see there yeah grafana is coming up
So basically we are doing on this step, we are installing Grafana with additional configuration, adding the data sources. As I mentioned in, the, in, in my PPT, we will install independently the Locky stack, we will install independent depot, and then we'll add these two data sources as a as additional data sources in our Grafana setup. That's what we are doing in step number three. Fine, so I think ports are up and so all ports are running. So we'll just uh, do a installation of sample application. Now what is the sample application? Uh, it's still generate traces, you know, in, this is a deployment sample application, which is sending all the traces to this, you know, Jaeger agent host, which is nothing but this and this on, the, on this port. And using this image and services this, so we are exposing on ATAT. So let's let's you know quickly install this guy LSLTR. Okay, I am let me come QCTL apply minus F tempo test deployment. So first of all, I'll do a deployment, and and then I'll do a service so deployment service is created i'll just come here and then do a kgp fine everything is up and then you will just see uh, the grafana thing uh, that is up and running on k port forward mm. broad grafana fine so we have port, we have done the port forwarding of grafana service and then we'll see whether my Grafana is up or not. So we are logging with admin ID. Operator will see whether we all have all the data sources. Okay, data sources are coming nice. I'll come here, I'll explore on this. I'll see Locky, whether I am. Now let me see that test application. Okay, let me generate certain logs. So my test application is running on port number 8080. I'll just pin up another window i'll do a port forward of what is that this application this is a very popular application for generating load so i'll just do a port forwarding on city 80 and then fine i'll uh, do some writes so i'll just i'm just creating certain logs and traces will get generated now i'll just do a refresh on this so now this will ultimately send uh, logs and traces to this locky, which we'll see it in a while. I'll just do a last 15 minutes or five minutes. And I'm doing for this app. Okay, we are getting certain see, hits and these hits are nothing. And the moment I expand one of the log, dispatch is successful. I'm getting a trace ID. So the beauty of this is I can correlate the logs with traces directly. The moment I hit, uh, you know trace id i can see the entire tracing for that or i can do something like this also duplicate this tab and then uh, i can do the search of that trace from here also if i really want to do it like this see this trace id i can search it here also so I can see this entire trace has took around 1.18 second. Now you can see the individual spans. So yeah, so uh, which span is taking more time? Okay, the red is get driver. I can click on any particular trace or oh, sorry span and then read more about it. See red is front end. So this is nothing, nothing special. I'm talking about this is something similar to other other tools like App Dynamics and Dynatrace. But yeah. This is how you can check the tempo tracing directly from the log rather than searching the trace or you can search it in another fashion. You can search it like this. You can search any particular endpoint and then search that particular trace. You'll find it and then you can go it from here also. You can do it like for last five minutes, 10 minutes and then search it. And then you can click like this and you can, you can go like in this, in this fashion also, right? So there are many ways to See any particular trace. Suppose I want to see the MySQL thing, and I'll see like this. So 
you can uh, search it with the help of span, uh, the trace id or search it with the help of endpoints yeah yeah let's talk about service graph in our next session because that needs a little bit more setup yeah so quickly summarizing everything what we did Again, coming to this GitHub documentation, when initially we installed this Locky stack, which is ultimately setting up a Helm chart, which contains a prompt tail agent and a Locky agent, which is collecting logs from all the container. And second step was installing Tempo independently, and which is actually creating, let me show you the logs of these Tempo so that it becomes. So log of this Tempo is, so I have, I have opened this log just to show you how this has been tempo has been configured yeah so you can just read more about it and see mm, yeah I was I want to show this so this is that open telemetry component that they are using see tempo documentation so you can get it from your port logs also right so yeah and then we quickly set up on third step we quickly set up this cube prometheus tag which is nothing but setting all the grafana pods and finally the sample application this is that sample application so let me just show you the logs of the sample applications okay hot prod okay come on kgp k logs pod and then this see so the all these uh, traces are going to that particular endpoint uh the see this trace id all this coming properly so there are no error so yeah that is pretty much let you know conclude this session i hope you like it if you have any further questions or queries you can just post it in the comment section and for more details, you can get into the description of this video and then you will find a GitHub link. There's nothing but this. Yeah. Okay. So thanks for now. We'll catch up again in our next lecture more about Grafana. Maybe we'll take the SMTP configuration setup. So, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for tuning. Thank you. Bye bye.